I, my DIYs are very unprofessional, and that's the way I like it. We're not hidey tidy here. This is all just do it yourself. There are a bunch of different ways we could do this black washing, but I'm going to keep it very simple right now and very fun. First step always is to wash these off, and you're going to want to use soap and water. I like to use an old toothbrush so you can get in all the crevices because these all have like factory grease from the molds when they pump them out. You're not going to want to just paint on here. Even if you're not doing a full paint, you still want to get like you want the wash to seep into all the things. So I chose this figure because it's got a lot of details. And I feel like it would be a good example. Look, just wet it in there. So I'm going to make sure you try and get it in all the cracks. See? Okay, yeah. And I know certain people like using a certain type of brush, but I feel like, you know, everything could be done with anything you have in the house. That's the way I like doing things. Because remember, at the end of the day, this is a hobby and it's for fun. And I don't think there should be like a certain way to do anything in life, actually. So why would I want my hobby to have rules, you know what I mean? So let's sit, let this sit right here. So let's wipe off Batman and see how it's coming. Oh, look at that. Wow. Okay, so see, he was a good example. The details popping on this figure. And you could leave it dirty or you could completely wipe it and it only stays in the crevices. And I think that's a pretty nice black wash right there. It made all those details pop. You know, adding that paint, it gets into all the crevices. Look at that, it already just looks better. C-3PO is always dirty, so why he looks so clean here, not in my house. We're gonna dirty this guy up right now. Let me get my mixture again. A few drops of that. Oops, a lot of drops of that, okay. It's already got water in it, so I don't have to water it up anymore. Look, he's very detailed, so let's get it. Soak it into all his areas right here. I'm not going to do them fully. I'm just going to soak it into the areas that you want it the most. Ooh, get it in his eyes. Oh, oh, I can't see. Oh, I'm 3PO. I can't see. Where's Rose Tico when you need her? Oh, Rose Tico. Oh, Rose Tico. Where's Rose Tico when you need her? Saving the rebellion. Rose Tico, she's not a felon. Rose Tico is the best in the world and the galaxy. Rose Tico can see what you can't. You better listen to her, she'll tase you. You better listen to her, she'll tase you. She's got a little tiny taser. Even though Finn beat almost, Finn was fighting Kylo in the first movie. And he actually stood like two seconds a chance. But not Rose Tico. He got stunned in four seconds. He, so Rose Tico by canon is more powerful than Kylo. So in the third movie, is Luke gonna be fighting Rose Tico? She's the Jedi Master. She's the Jedi Master. Rose Tico. <laughs> How long were you gonna let me go, hon? I don't know, I tuned you out after a little because I couldn't focus on my song. Oh, How could you not focus on my song? It's about Rose Tico. <laughs> I can't wait to listen to that back when I'm editing. All right, so we're just, we're just, look at that. First of all, this is just the black wash on here, and it already looks so much better as an action figure. Look at that. This isn't even the finish. I'm going to paint him up, and we're going to come back and see what all these guys look like dried. Look at that. And you could still wipe some stuff away, but basically it's going to dry in those crevices and you're going to be good to go. Look at that. He already looks light years better than he did in the beginning. Look at that. The best of here. So, you know, that was basic uh, black washing. Very simple. Um, there's all different ways you could do it. This one, it's, it's really up to you and how you're feeling. So... This one, you just grab a figure, grab some paint, and go a little crazy on it. And, uh, you know what? In our next video, I think we might do dry brushing figures. So you could, 
you could get details out of figures with a little bit of dry brush. And uh, we'll explain that in another video. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. There are going to be a lot more on this channel. I feel like I revived this channel. I'm very into it right now. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Make sure you leave comments. But also make sure you go over to my Instagram. The Toy Bookie is my toy one. I'm always on that. Or I have an art page because I am also an artist. At Rock with the Great. So my links are always down below. They're all over this thing. Go check it out. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification button. Um, daily uploads are coming. And I think I have a... A toy review coming soon and then more tutorials so and if anyone has a tutorial they would like to see or any ideas you can always comment below or DM me on Instagram so thank you guys for watching and we're out of here stay great peace check out my Instagram this is my art page at rock of the great or my toy page at the toy bookie uh, definitely check those out I'm always on there and also check my other videos I just did a new diorama video that's very simple and fun and has great feedback on there. So definitely check that out if you're into action figures and want to make some dioramas for yourself. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.